discover a world where things just make sense. Discover a world where you can leave it all behind. Discover a world where the sun shines for 64 straight days. Discover Daisy, Jewel of Jotunheim. Good morning. This is JPR. Commanders across Jotunheim are breathing a little easier this morning as no-fly zones are lifted following successful peace talks between Emperor's Grace, an autonomous paramilitary wing of the Empire, and their counterparts here in Jotunheim, the Goon Squadron. Both parties agreed to a non-interference pact where the Imperial paramilitary would cease their efforts to hamper the revolutionary Jotunheim resistance's humanitarian and trade missions in systems like LTT-9810. In exchange, the Goon Squadron would allow Grace-affiliated bounty hunters to resume training operations in the same system. Independent estimates place the destruction of Imperial assets at as much as 20 million credits in the worst day of fighting. Neither the Emperor nor Harry made themselves available for comment at the time of recording. In interstellar news, reports are coming in of traitors and mercenaries being targeted in the Capifornacus system. Uh, this system, whose economy was recently devastated by the ongoing federal campaign of biological warfare, is a primarily agricultural society with necessary technology imported from nearby systems. Previously seen as something of a backwater, trade in and out of the system has picked up dramatically in the wake of the federal invasion, leading many to accuse the independent traders of war profiteering and charging exorbitant rates for the normally inexpensive agricultural equipment needed to restart the local economy. This appears to be the motive of a group of unidentified commanders who have been targeting trade in and out of the sector. The Jotunheim Resistance advises all pilots to use caution when performing civilian operations in war zones, and states that it does not agree with the targeting of civilian pilots, even those that profit from continued human suffering and war crimes. Jotunheim Public Radio is made possible through a grant from the BH Charitable Foundation, committed to bringing transparency and a higher level of public discourse to the habitable galaxy.